Okay, folks, welcome uh, to uh, the Vanderpump Rules finale trailer. Now, there's an interesting uh, history with this trailer already. Of course, you know, we have the drama of Scandaball, but we also have the drama of the show itself, all of these leaks that come keep coming out, all of the rumors, who to believe, uh, you know, do you believe, who do you believe and what do you believe? It, there's so many rumors and false things going about, but on, uh, was it Tuesday of this week? Uh, time is meaningless anymore. Tuesday of this week, I believe, uh, an Instagram account called at not today neck, which is hysterical already leaked this trailer and it got sent to me a bunch of times and I posted it on my Instagram, but it was the finale trailer. Um, just a quick finale trailer, but it was so gripping. I had gotten a text that morning, um, from somebody involved in Vanderpump rules going, listen, I've, I've seen the, the trailer at the, the very end. And it is, you're going, there's one, there's one shot that you are going to throw your TV out of the window. And I was like, I haven't seen it. Oh my God. That's, that sounds insane. Are we going to see it this week? And she goes, I don't know. And I'm not going to say who that person was, but it, it, it was already on my radar. And then finally it leaked and I posted it and it, it blew me away. And also my, my thinking was, okay, maybe the show itself leaked this because in the actual leak from the at not today neck account, uh, just to explain to you guys, it was somebody filming some kind of television. I think it was in an edit bay because in the top right hand corner, it had numbers flipping up and the numbers flipping up. It's a time. It's called a time code. Uh, a lot of television shows will have the time code up when production is working with the footage or if they're sending out a not final cut to other people to watch, it's a very normal thing. Now I've gotten to a point with Bravo where they'll send me certain premieres. Like I had the real, I have the real housewives of Atlanta premiere that you're going to see on Sunday. And I also have summer's house, summer house, Martha's vineyard. And in those trail, the, those copies of those pilot episodes, it has my email address on it. So at the, you know, it has my watermark of this is the property of so bad. It's good with Ryan Bailey at gmail.com. So if I leak that to anybody, they know exactly who to trace it back to. It has my watermark. So I would be an idiot to do that. And I would never, never do that. But they also have the time code in the right, you know, just telling you at what minute, what second you're on of the show. It's kind of a little distracting, but I don't care. I'm just happy to get these at all. So my thought was it didn't have the, the watermark stamp. So I'm like, okay, they weren't sending this out to people. So it has to be somebody in production, which led me to believe is like oh my god is this uh somebody in production trying to get us all at that same level of anger and excitement again that we've had this whole season since scandal broke so that was my thought but i didn't really care because it was just so damn good it was just so exciting but i still thought production did it until like an hour and a half two hours later bravo released their own they released the high definition version but in this version they cut a couple of key moments that they had in the leaked version. One moment in particular, which we'll talk about once we go through the one that Bravo released. So now that leads me to believe that Bravo did not mean this to get out. And also the one I posted on my Instagram account, NBC Universal, uh, they filed an IP claim, which is an intellectual property because this is the property that they own. So it got taken down off my Instagram account and now I'm shadow banned again. But I'm even so confused on that because Bravo and Cocktails still has it up on her account, which if you want to see that leaked one, go over to her account and a couple of other accounts. So I don't know why I got selected. I'm not bitching about it. Well, I guess I kind of am, but it was really weird because I was like, well, why did I get a takedown notice? And they didn't. I was like, Bravo, NBC Universal, just email me. I'll take it down. But their version came out, and that's what we're going to see right here. If you're watching this on YouTube, smash that like, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell your friends. We're going to go through this moment by moment. We did this with the OC trailer earlier. I mean, was that that was last week, actually. We did it with the Kardashian trailer this week. I love to go through uh, trailers and, and give my honest reactions to this. So we're going to go. Get ready. This is going to knock you off your coal mining ass because I thought, and by the way, hats off to Bravo. Hats off to the production team of Vanderpump Rules. They have done such a great job monopolizing what 
you know, because they really are playing catch up to some of this stuff. I want to remind people they were suspicious. Yes, but they didn't know. So with this, remember, they stopped filming in September of last year. So this all broke in at the beginning of March, right? Like this is, you know, so they immediately picked up cameras within a day and they have then, they had already edited most of the show. So they're really coming from behind in some ways, but you would never know it. They've done a fantastic job from a production standpoint. So here we go. The season finale trailer, you know, it's when they have a season finale trailer and we have it two weeks before. Amazing. Let's go. Next time on the season finale of Vanderpump Rules. Next time on the season finale of Vanderpump Rules. I would love if Ken shuffled in like he did in this app. He goes, Lisa, uh, do you know what I have here? Did you hear that they leaked the finale trailer? Uh, Of course I do, yes. Can we watch it together? Here we go. We start off. Okay, so remember, the sorry to explain, is that they shot this whole season. They had to come back with cameras up, and they have one episode entirely, even though I think you'll see some flashes of it in uh, this next Wednesday's episode. But the next week is all new footage that filmed cameras up when all of this stuff broke. So you'll notice Tom is in the same outfit a lot of the times because he was literally going door to door. He went from Ariana to Schwartz's to Sheena's. Um, But this was really all after he got busted when his phone fell out of his pocket at the release for his superstar single at uh, for Tom Sandoval and the most extras at Tom Tom. I mean, insane. He really this dude, if only he had better pockets, if only he wasn't wearing such tight clothing, it would have helped his jizz because the doctor said you can't wear tight clothing. But it would have also helped, you know, if he, you know, just a little bit more looseness wouldn't have just like pushed out his phone and like literally he could have stayed on this narrative where he could have been a good guy like he was hoping to okay sorry excited here we go i was going to break up with ariana regardless but you didn't you your best friend instead i was gonna break up with ariana regardless so he's like i'm I'm very seriously i'm not wearing one of my fruit loop necklaces from kyle chan and sheena knocks i mean sheena by the way also, just the huge hoop earrings you're seeing right here. It's like, I feel like I could fit a lifetime in those hoop earrings. She goes, but you didn't. You fucked your best friend instead. And like that, you know, there's just certain lines. I mean, I don't know if that's good enough for a t-shirt. I don't know if that's a send it to Daryl, a Palm Springs house shirt, but my God, what a clear, concise, what a great way to start this trailer. Cause that's it. Exactly. You didn't break up with her doofus. You cheated with her best friend instead. I sacrificed everything. Oh my God. Sorry, I keep stopping, but I got it to each moment is delicious. They have a they have a, a cut to Tom where he's like, that's a fair point. Yeah, that's uh I guess that's that's now that I'm hearing it out loud, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but Tom was like, you know, it's interesting. I've just kind of worked through this in my head, and it's it's a lot different when you're saying it to me. He's like, Yes, uh, okay, yeah, that's that's exactly what I did. Everything now my world just got turned upside down. I felt something. And then Schwartz, he's going over Schwartz. He's like, dude, what? It's like, oh, you risked everything. Our world is being turned upside down. The two Tom's world domination is being affected by this. And you see Tom like just grabbing onto Schwartz, like, <laughs> like trying to like, you know, just cry. Like, I need you like man on man affection. We love it. And, you know, Schwartz is probably, I imagine this is like two in the afternoon. Schwartz has been up for like a half hour. He's like, I'm just getting started with my day. I was about to do some juicing. I was hiding my girlfriend in the other room what's going on um okay so tom literally we were at the moment where tom's like i literally with haven't felt something that i felt in a long time i hadn't felt in a very long time jesus christ man Me and Raquel- i haven't felt something that i haven't felt in a very long time and it's like you doofus it's called a fucking boner weirdo go whack off in your bathroom like you told howie mandel and call it a day that's literally it's the fucking poison in his head oh i haven't felt something like dude it's all the tom fucking like play me a stupid violin in your band like music that you're playing to yourself it's so frustrating because he's just oh he's literally and and schwartz even was like dude even this is like I've done some bad shit. Like he's so like, he even has his hoodie pulled up. He's like, Oh man. Oh, he won't even Schwartz is even ashamed to reveal his face in the scene. 
all became like really good friends. I don't give a f about f your gal. Your friendship is f bullshit. Okay, so Ariana, now we're back at their confrontation. I believe this is the Friday. Things broke Wednesday night. By Friday, they started filming, and this, I believe, is the first scene. And he's like, I just, I started a friendship with Raquel. Like he's really holding true to this friendship thing. And, you know, Ariana very clearly points out your friendship is fucking bullshit. And he's like, no, it's not like, he's like, of course he's going to defend his friends. Like, by the way, if, um, if, uh, Rachel's grandma or grandpa passes away, you know, Tom would drop everything to go to that funeral. Right. He's not going to be at any labor day parties for that. But it, Ariana's like your friendship with Raquel, it's not about Raquel. And you can tell how not planned this scene is because Ariana slams her fist, I believe, on the coffee table and the cameraman is not ready for it. And he sh the camera shakes. And I've got to tell you, this is more gripping and exciting in terms of action sequences than any of the Marvel movies put together. I was like whoa like i was like is there an earthquake like she slams it and she is yelling it's not about raquel and then this dipshit like th hear what they what he does no it's not yes it is you know everything you no it's not yes it is you don't know everything tom says you don't know everything and that's it right there i know that's a tiny line but really think about that pull back the curtains on that line it's tom sandoval being upset that ariana is smarter than him ariana always knows everything that's how he's painted it in his mind and a lot of people over the years in this cast has been angry at ariana for certain ways because even saucy like oh she just knows everything right she knows and you know sandoval was always the one that had ariana's back but ariana really does have a very particular opinion about things that you Usually tends to be right and usually on the side of caring and love and some people really are bothered by that and now we see that Tom Sandoval is one of those people you aren't right you don't know everything and the um, the the rage he yells at her with I mean that really is disgusting on top of disgusting at this point it literally should be all looking down I am so sorry I do not know what is wrong with me um, I do love her I am so sorry I hurt you instead of yelling and fighting for his feelings, like, dude, he's trying to make like, you know, it's like this. He's trying to like prove that he's a good guy still and that he's truly in love. You don't know everything like yelling at her when he did this to her. And now it has all become clear that this last nine months, including all of the filming, has been a huge lie. I mean, think about it in this week's episode with the yurt, with Rachel's birthday party, with like Ariana having to pitch in for those Versace sunglasses for Rachel. Like and he is still yelling. I mean, this this is why I believe he's so skinny and emaciated right now, because the only way Tom realizes things are wrong is when you hit his pocketbook in a way. And when all of that good feelings and love and positivity that was surrounding him, that we all had all those good feelings for him has gone away. And I think it's finally getting to him. But in this moment, he's now really still trying to defend himself, even though he got caught. And we see Ariana make this face of like, zoinks, like literally she's probably barely tethered to the earth at this moment because she's like what the fuck is going on but i do want to point out and i know this might be, not be the right time but look at his her story since and how far she's ascended so in these moments when you think oh my god just know that a month and a half down the the line you might visit the white house <laughs> no but just know that like you never know what life holds even when you think you're potentially dying like she even said in this week's episode oh my god my my grandma died my dog died i don't know if i can make it i i can't believe you know i just i i'm i'm so in a bad place and it got even worse for her but look at her now not to say that everything's perfect and she's not going to have wild issues in the future because of this man but i think he did something so damaging and tragic that he helped like he just fucking broke that like relationship they had so hard that it might really have helped her free up to be somewhat better than that person that keeps getting strung along i think this is the first time he's been creeping around it was one other time I love Lala, by the way. Lala gets in. He's like, you think that's the first time this guy be creeping around? And little Lala's like, yeah. Um, and that, I believe, he was in a scene. She was in a scene with uh, Allie, it looked like. James is DJ James Kennedy's girlfriend. And we have that little scene. And we quick cut to Sandoval. And that scene with Sheena is like, oh, there is actually one other time. Which, by the way, there was that. There, one, he means 10. And we see Sheena. Sheena's face is like, come on. 
Come on. How long have you known? Come on. And then we hear the, how long have you known about this? And we see Schwartz. He's like hands on his, over his head with his hoodie on, just looking kind of just actually how Schwartz always looks now that I think about it. Tom told me this a month ago. Are you inside? Okay, so this is the month of March, and Tom is in a conversation, I don't know who with, potentially Katie, it looks like. And he's like, Tom, like, told me this a month ago. Bullshit. We've got another lie in this trailer. And you can see these men are still having each other's backs lying through the skin of their teeth. Not fully, like, by the way, them doing all their giggle gurdy stuff, Tom and Tom in these scenes, because they both know, like the episodes they know. Because he he let us know on Watch What Happens Live that, that he knew in August. So he didn't let Tom know a month ago. It's complete bullshit. By the way, we have a shot of Katie rolling her eyes because she realizes how much horse shit is going into her ears directly at that moment. And I believe it's moments like this where Katie's like, oh my God, I really did make the right decision for myself. Like, oh my God, thank you. I am out. I do not have to do Like imagine if Schwartz and Katie were still married in the same roof. And then Schwartz is like, oh, I totally didn't know. Anywho, do you want to get a bunch of like bed candy and watch Polly Shore movies all day? Kind of all an item now, Raquel? No. Okay. This I'm curious about. DJ James Kennedy is in some kind of war room. There's like a little bit of purple lighting because it makes it look like Katie and Lala and Allie are in that room as well. And, you know, DJ James Kennedy has the phone like on speakerphone and it's Rachel Raquel Ratchet on the phone. And he goes, oh, um, are you in Tom Sandoval in item now? You know, I'm going to play the Imagine Music Festival. Guys, night. No, and he's like, you know, and she goes, no, 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 you're not. So I'm so curious about this scene. Are you in Sandoval and item now? Raquel says, no, I'm not. So in my weird head, my thing is like, okay, is Raquel still trying to hold to the lie that no, uh, he was just, we were just knocking boots. He was just putting the old little T Sandy in her private crevices. Like what, what is this? Like, how is she still continuing the lie? And you know, it's so funny. They're cutting to Lala and Allie and like, like they're in the room too. Like there's cops in the room of like, okay, do we have her location? We got her. We got her. Move, move, move. Like, I wonder what that conversation is. Raquel's like, do you regret Rachella still? Um, but it looks so intense. I didn't think they had a scene together, DJ James Kennedy and Raquel, and they probably didn't physically, but it was on the phone. I regret ever loving you. Ariana goes, I regret ever loving you. And Tom takes his two hands, puts them on his face, and rubs his hair back like, oh. You don't deserve any of this. Yeah, sure. So then we hear this vocal was like, you don't deserve any of this, which I don't know who says that because they show Lisa, but Lisa would have been like, you don't deserve any of this, nigga Lane. But Lisa is in a scene with Ariana and she, Ariana's crying. And I'm, Lisa would say something like, you don't deserve any of this, but it doesn't sound like her voice. And then um, we cut to, oh God, is I like, I believe this is Raquel's apartment. And Raquel is what looks like, I mean, is this the fucking galaxy light on the wall in the background? And we see Tom in the same black shirt. I'm imagining this is the end of day on Saturday, maybe, or at some point on Friday. And they're all close now. And to watch them as two lascivious fucking freaky weirdos. And I don't mean that as a compliment like I usually do. All of a sudden, in each other's personal space, already knowing that we know that they bumped uglies, it is shocking to watch. And I will say from there's like a side angle. We're seeing them from the side. And it looks like he's like they're on a couch and he's like all sit sitting up next to each other. They're facing each other. And um, it there, there's he looks very old here, you know, like it really like I'm like, oh, who's that older gentleman with the younger lady? Um, but I don't, you know. And she is like, has a fucking smirk on her face. Like, <laughs> like a smirk. Like, and by the way, I know, like, but like, if you look at this image, like I'd be looking for some, like you, you can see Tom's going through something. I mean, it's all like, you know, narcissism, but there's something happening with Raquel. You can't really, from this angle, I'm looking at it. That's why I'm getting so close to the, you can't see like that. She's been like wildly crying or anything, which shocks me. I know. I don't know why I, 
I almost would feel comforted if it looked like she was a mess. And I don't think she looks great here, um, but she doesn't look like she's, and she says, That's so horribly wrong. So he said it, it was something to the effect of this, everything went so horribly wrong. Kind of like everything that we planned went so horribly wrong. And it's like, you, this isn't, this wasn't a bank robbery dipshit. There were people involved. Like, what the fuck are you laughing about? Like, honestly, it is. I know Rachel Raquel, we've been told she's working on her mental health. And this is like, when you're like, oh my God, she needs a lot of mental health. And so does Mr. Scam Scammy Balls. But it, 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 it's shocking that she would smirk in any scene. Like, honestly, if she was trying to work with any PR companies, I can't imagine they'd be like, yo, um, yeah, if you're going to film anything, can you make sure you don't smile or smirk in any sort of way? Um, you, you know, because I think people will genuinely uh, hate you even more than they do now. And then you guys, we goes done, done. And all of a sudden we see Nike slides. And the only reason I know this is because I looked really closely and it said Nike on it. The second reason I know this is because I have the same Nike slides. And I was like, oh my God, am I in this? And then I realized, oh my God, I don't wear black leggings. And I'm like, who could this be? She's walking down. You see some grass, some cement. I know this is exactly where this is. This is at Tom and Ariana's house. I've done this walk before. Uh, it never has the music when I've done the walk. I'm like, done, done. But it does for this person. You ready? <sighs> It's fucking Doty, you guys. It's Kristen M. F. and Doty who was on Watch What Happens Live this Wednesday. And you can tell from this side, we don't know who she's talking to, but you can tell it's Ariana. And Doty goes, Are you ready? And she does the creepy witches of WeHo, like, yee, Detective Doty kind of fingering thing that she does. And I, I want to also just remind people Ariana did give her permission to film. And to be there, because, you know, I think Ariana's like, hey, man, Tom, you have some stuff coming for you now. And that was the Vanderpump Rules trailer. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things that you would have seen in the leak trailer that they took out. And maybe we can kind of guess why they took them out. Now, um, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So, Rachel, in that one that you just said... It turned out so horribly wrong. That was the exact line. So the leaked trailer that we didn't get to see, but I mean, you actually still see it on Bravo and Cocktails account says uh, it's all the same. The first uh, stuff short says Jesus Christ, man. And both um, Tom and Ariana in the, you know, like, no, nah, this, you know, yelling, you know, everything, this can't be real. Ariana wiping her eyes. And then, Schwartz, we, you know, we didn't see this in the trailer that Bravo released, but Schwartz sitting on the floor goes, you're having a midlife crisis, which by the way, Schwartz could be talking into a mirror at that point. It could be either of them, but he's actually talking to Sandoval. We didn't see that in the, the, the Bravo one, the Bravo one has Lala going, you think this is the first time you've been creeping around. Um, and then we have a couple of scenes that you do see in both. Then the next change is in the one you don't see, the one that was leaked, Allie is walking outside with DJ James Kennedy for a nice stroll. And Allie goes, they're definitely together. And James goes, they can have each other. They deserve each other. Instead, we saw James uh, talking on the phone to Ra Raquel going, so are you and Sandoval an item now, Raquel? Okay, then we have the I regret ever loving you. That is in both. And then this is a different thing that was in the leaked one that is not in the actual one. Lala sitting next to Katie, both wearing black, which by the way, this is from a Reddit thread from the Vanderpump Rules community. Just want to give them a shout out. It was sent to me. Um, Lala says, we're all in black because it's a funeral. And Charlie Burnett, I'm glad Charlie, they included her. She's in black. And Charlie goes, the death of Tom. Ariana and Gold looking to her right. And someone in the group says, he's going to lose a lot of friends. Um, then we have a couple scenes that are the same in both. And then, um, then this is the scene they went, it turned out so horribly wrong with Raquel and Tom in the one, but in this one, the one you didn't get to see, uh, uh it has Scandal at Rachel's apartment and he's like touching her cheek. They're standing up, which looks like to be in her kitchen. And it's so, it's so gross to see it. You guys, it makes, 
Ooh, it just makes me feel icky feelings. Um, this is a qual. It makes me feel icky feelings. You got, I'm a grown adult man, barely. Um, and he says, uh, Rachel, once again, just smiling so huge goes, I know he said like we would never fucking do this unless it was worth it. Do what? I mean, are you talking about filming together as a romantic couple? Because what do you mean fucking do this? Because you didn't choose to do this. You got caught. So you're being forced to do this. But, you, you know, we would fucking choose to do this if you like. So in that, it kind of from that line, it makes it think of like Raquel's like, OK, good. It's finally out. Still not realizing the gravity of the situation because you've got to think. Tom was like, dude, I've been on this show like 10 seasons now. Trust me, Raquel, this is going to blow over pretty quickly. They all know we're douchebags. So, and I think Santa Paul's is <laughs> like, oh shit. Like I had no clue it was go like this. I truly believe he told Raquel of like, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. It's going to be great in the long run potentially. And so for them in that first week or the first weekend, they still thought like, okay, it's bad right now, but in the end, it's going to be great. Because even if you look at Tom Sandoval and the most extras, they played that Friday night in Anaheim and somebody shouted out Ariana and Sandoval goes, yes, we all love Ariana. Like he still didn't get it. Like he's like, yeah, dude, I support her so much, but like he's still, it's like he almost erased his own behavior for the nine months and going, yeah, like it's you know it's like magical thinking. It's it's really weird, uh, very creepy. And then we have Katie, which is different in the one you didn't see. Katie wearing a white shirt and a black jacket, recoiling in shock. And the voiceover, I'm not sure who this is, says what? And then Sandoval at Ariana's house goes, "Do you want anything?" And Ariana goes, "For you to be unalive." which is we've seen that before. So that is in the trailer that you didn't see. But what do you guys think? I think this is just perfect editing. Per I mean, it was less than a minute long and it told us everything that we needed to know. And for me, it was so insane because we had heard all of these. We heard about all these shots. We had heard that there was a scene potentially with Raquel and Sandoval kissing. But at the same time, we like, well, that could be a rumor. That could just be something that somebody threw out. And it was so insane to actually see like, oh my God, that really did happen. They really did film together as romantic partners at that moment. And you see it and you're put back right in that that anger and that disgust. And, and I know, but for reality shows, remember anger and disgust equals ratings and equals really good television that we've always really enjoyed and talked about for years to come. And that's what is here. And I, I feel like I don't want to jinx anything, but I think they're going to stick the landing. I think this is going to be wall to wall in amazing system season that goes down. Like we haven't had a truly good season of Vanderpump rules since season seven, I believe. Right. Was that the, the faith and Jack season? Like where it was just bonkers and for a show this deep in, and, and I know that's sad because the reality of that is the show is so good because the, you know, these people, their brains are mush because they've been on TV so long that they really think that this is acceptable to treat other people like that. But we are, we get the spoils of this, even though it's painful for us to watch. So what did you guys think? Did you like it as much as I did? Oh, I mean, obviously you'll be tuning in. Are you getting completely tired of this or are you still fully in it? Like I am, uh, let us know in the comments, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and, uh, I'm going to continue on with all of the Vanderpump rules this week in another video. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, you don't have to do anything. Cause we're going to talk about it right now. And, uh, Man, I lit, you know, my nipples are hard. That's how excited that was. That was insane. I've, I've now lived with that trailer for like two and a half days and I just watched it again. And I'm like, wow, this is why I love reality television and Sandoval and Raquel. You really suck donkey dick. Okay. Bye. <laughs>